Welcome back to the Junk Man's Adventures. This is Junk Mods, where I modify something for more reliability or better performance. And today I'm going to modify this gear reduction gearbox that's out of my wood burning pellet stove. I'm going to make it greasable so the gears last a lot longer and run a lot quieter. Let's go over to the bench and I'll show you what I got. As you can tell here, I got two gearboxes. The dirty one here is the original one that's been in service in this pellet stove for about 10 years. And it's still working, and it's one I modified when I first got it, and I want to kind of update this modification. And you see it's, it's really dirty here, and as you see, I put this uh, grease zerk in here. As you can see, this is what it looked like when it was uh, brand new, and the only problem with my deal here is, of course, that was easy. I had some little grease zerks. However, you got to take a back panel off and uh, take out, you know, eight or ten screws every time you want to grease this, and... This doesn't get super hot, but it gets warm enough that the grease um, uh, flows and it was it started leaking out of the the, uh, the casting here where these two parts uh, join and such. And then, as you can see here on this one, you know, it leaks out this, this bushing and things like that. And, you know, over the years, you know, I grease it a couple times a season. Uh, it helps... Uh, cushion the noise and vibration when this thing is running and obviously it's made some of it a mess but mostly for convenience what I'm going to do now is instead of just having the grease zerk right there like that which works is I bought this little uh, this setup here or this kit um, and it's a hose it's got a grease zerk on this end and bracket that's already clamped on there and then this little 90 degree uh, piece that is the same thread as a regular grease zerk what I'm going to do is basically what I did here, only to put this in here, then I can screw this on, and then mount this through the back panel, so I just have to get my grease gun and just grease outside the machine and not have to take off the back panel. Uh, also, what I'm going to do is when I take this apart, because I've got to take it apart when I drill the hole, because I don't want to hit any of the gears in here and or put any metal shavings in there, I'm going to seal this up and then put it back together, and then that will prevent some of this grease leaking out and making as much of a mess as it did this time. So I'm going to start by disassembling this so I can drill and tap for my fitting. With the two halves separated, as you can see, there is some grease in here, but it's been my experience that there's not enough in here and there can actually be uh, some because this is a pretty heavy gear reduction here from this little this little motor here up to here in this output shaft uh, that this thing will cause some vibration and where it's mounted in my pellet stove it kind of reverberates a little and makes a little bit of noise and when you grease it like I did the old one it uh, it dampens that vibration so that's the end goal here but anyway as you can see we're going to want to put our grease zerk uh, looks like over here because there's you know, nothing for my drill bit to hit as I go in there. Um, and then we'll tap it into the side of the case here. All right, here we go. I've got to set up my drill press to just drill this hole. Now this is just a aluminum casing, so obviously it's gonna drill real easy and it's gonna tap real easy. And I'm just gonna go real slow, be very careful, because this housing's pretty thin here. It's thick enough I'll be able to thread it, but it's thin enough that uh, press too hard you could crack it. So I just want to be, I want to make sure I don't go too deep, which is okay because I got a lot of room down there. And that's it. Done. Got our tap here. Incidentally, this is a quarter 28 thread pitch because that is what our grease zerk is or our little 90 degree adapter is. And just need to be very careful, start it slowly. And because, like I said, this is aluminum, so it's going to tap real easy. Don't need to use any, in this case, don't need to use any lubricant. Obviously, if it was steel or something harder, you'd want to do that. And there we go. And uh, I do have a, I forgot to mention, I just have a little bit of grease on there to catch the chips as they go through. And uh, let's put that in there. Another thing I'm going to do, because I don't, I don't ever need this thing to come out of here, put just a teeny bit of a, uh, red thread locking compound because I don't I don't want it ever coming out of here. Just start it. And we're going to 
gonna twist it in here. And I happen to know, I'm gonna have to get a wrench. Now all I gotta do here is just put a little bit of RTV silicone around the edge because I just want to seal this up and then put the two halves back together. Well here we are at the back of the Pell stove here. Got our gear box mounted where it goes. Attaches to the feed auger here. Got our grease hose attached to our 90 degree fit, fitting here. Runs around here. Drilled a hole big enough to run uh, stick the grease zerk through and another smaller hole for that little bracket that was attached to the hose. Just bent it 90 degrees and then put the bolt through the hole tighten it up and then I can just plug my grease gun in there give her some uh, squirts of grease every once in a while when I need to and that's about it I think this is a worthwhile modification for any of you out there who want to extend the life of this gearbox in your own stoves um, this is an older stove um, some of them mount uh, differently and have the auger that goes up and then the gravity feeds down this one just shoots it out into the firebox but anyway that's it uh, and uh, I hope you learned something here and maybe you can apply this to something else, not just uh, uh, this gearbox that I showed here. So until next time, I'm the Junk Man. Like my Facebook page, check me out on Twitter, check out my website, and thanks for watching. As I told you in the middle of the video, I would give some information on this uh, kit, this hose kit that I got. Now, it's not a kit for pellet stoves. What it is actually is a grease kit for, I'm not exactly sure what vehicle, but uh, I got it from, uh, it's sold by Moog, and I got this on Amazon. It's about 12 bucks. This is actually to make uh, greasing uh, the idler arm on some uh, steering components on some type of vehicle uh, much easier. Makes it uh, a remote grease access point. Well, I was doing a Google image search and that's how I came up with it. And I thought, you know what, that's exactly what I needed. Because I, otherwise I was going to buy all these parts individually and make my own kit. And this was cheaper than buying, you know, a, an assortment of grease zerks because you can't really buy them one to one z two z Same with the 90 degree and then the hose is, you know, is eight or ten dollars itself sometimes. So this worked for me. I'll put a link in the description where you can go, uh, or the part number, so you can go search this and find it yourself if you want to do this.